The End of Your Life Book Club is a book about how books tell you what you need to do in life. It's based on conversations I had with my mother when she was dying of pancreatic cancer and knew she had anywhere from a couple months to maybe two years at most to live. When I sat with her in chemo, six, seven hours at a time, we found ourselves talking about books. We talked about books not just as a way to pass the time, but as a kind of proxy so we could talk about the most meaningful things in our lives without having to address them head on. Well, I'm so pleased to be here and also I've been loving the uh, blogs and various reports from previous meetings. Uh, this was a book that was somewhat controversial in my mother and my two-person book club because it was one of the books we disagreed about a little bit. The thing we disagreed about was the ending. What if the American wasn't even there? What if he, this guy is just imagining that somebody's following him around and he doesn't <laughs> imagine that imagining. he transposed it into some kind of really strange narrative. <laughs> <laughs> For me, the, the single most shocking transformative moment in the novel is when he watches the World Trade Towers crumble. When he and smiles. He smiles. Yeah. 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 It's up to you to reflect on who you are as a person to kind of then make that choice. Which I thought was actually a genius way to look at it because I had absolutely no idea what was about to happen. It almost compelled me not to fill in the gaps because I didn't want to reveal my own prejudices. How did you feel when he grows the beard? I love the beard. <laughs> <laughs> So it really tests as a reader, I think, whether you're yeah. a very literal reader or whether you're seeing ambiguities. For me, the ending was maybe the American reaching for his gun, shiny object, is the one who's completely in control of the situation. And actually, it's the other guys that are in peril. When I think back on the conversations we had and the reason why I wrote this book, it was really because I wanted to pass along all that mom taught me not just about death, but about life. And I wanted people to understand that the opposite of doing things isn't reading, that reading is doing something. And when we read a book, all the wonderful books we read in our two-person book club, or any of the other wonderful books that are out there, that's how we know what we need to do in the world and in our lives.